Now here's a little uh, lock sound, loke sound tutorial, just kind of the way I set things up. Um, we go to the downloads page on uh, the loke sound website. Make sure you click um, V5, North American, type in, for instance, uh, I'm doing uh, Conrail SD40-2. Type in SD40-2. Uh, the most recent sound file comes up. You can see the change right here. I always make sure I use uh, an updated one just so it's got all the uh, you know updated drivers and sound files. If you click... Okay. Click, um, oh, here we go, up to the top. Right here, more. You can read what engines it's good for. Um, I need the SD40-2. And then if you scroll down, more importantly, it tells you the functions. Where'd it go? Stand by. Right here, functions. All the way down. So right here, F26. Uh, manual notching up. And F27 is coast. So you download it. Um, I save it and I always create my own file just for that engine just in case um, I have to you know just re-download or reprogram it everything's there I don't have to worry about it being another engine that I made any changes to you start here long address put in the address these are your consist functions um, I enable F6 because I always change that to make the uh, rail screech. And I'm unchecking F8 because I'm starting to do this now with my loke sounds so I can run them in consist with tsunamis because the tsunamis come on automatically. And if you check this F8, then when you go to push F8 to turn it on in consist, it will then mute the tsunami. So you'll ES, you, Dakota, will come on and your tsunami will turn off. So it's kind of annoying. Um, and then I enable F to keep these. Then I come down here to function mapping. And this is where it gets fun. I go to F6 under sounds. I'm going to change it. Scroll down. You're going to find flange squeal. And then I'm going to get rid of it here under F7. So we're just going to uncheck it so that the box is empty. And then under physical outputs, you're going to go all the way down. Oh, no, wait. Under logics. Shift mode 2. And I'll explain that in a minute. Then you got F9. I'm going to come here. We're going to disable the brake sound and disable drive hold. The reason that we disable drive hold is because it's not compatible with other non-ESU decoders. So if you're running an ESU in your consist and you go to hit drive hold, uh, it will drive hold the ESU, but none of the other ones. So I'm disabling that and I'm enabling shift mode three, which is the idle. Um, so that's it. So F6, squeal, F7, shift mode 2, F9, shift mode 3. Then um, I'm going to come down here to sound settings. Master volume is always at 128. I usually bring it down to about 70. And, uh, and that does a pretty good job. So you can play with your sounds over here. I usually don't because I keep the generic horn pack um, and you can just change the, the, the horn with the CV value rather than having to reprogram the sound 
up here every time and waiting 30 minutes just to switch the sound thing. So that's about all I do. And then you click uh, the decoder. Just make sure your address is here. It's your engine address. Um, that's it. And then I'm gonna write, right here, write sound data. So it takes about 30 minutes. And when you're done, you'll have a fantastic sounding engine. Thanks.